I would say congratulations are in order, but you don't seem to be too pleased. Oh, well, you know me. Never want to wear my heart on my sleeve. I'll leave that to our Andy. Oh, you. Less of the digs. He's had a hard time. Talk about bad luck with his arm and the rest. Poor lad's had a tough couple of years. Oh, don't you mean decade? And you can't blame all that on bad luck. You heard from Joe recently. Are you getting those drinks in or what? I was just telling Diane how delighted I am to be back here, raising my stepson in the village. And fingers crossed, making a couple of our own. You can't wait to be a granddad again. You're going to be a stepdad? Yep. How old? 14. He was a good kid. Yeah, when he's not in bother. Well, who wasn't at 14? Why don't I get that? Uh, I'd rather pay for it myself if you <clears throat> don't mind. Edna, I'm paying. In fact, why don't I buy everybody a drink? Diane, a couple of bottles of champagne, please. And if people don't like champagne, they're going to have whatever they want. Yeah. Now, that is what I call a gentleman. <laughs> well, want to get on with my neighbours, don't I? Hey, I thought you said he was a tight wood. Happy? Well, will be when you tell me what Nicola had to say. Well, nothing I don't already know. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm still smiling, aren't I? Oh. Not picking up yet. You think I'd be used to it by now? Yeah, especially since you were married to him before. I mean, why can't blokes just say how they feel? Because we would tell them to shut up. But I wouldn't. I would. Give me the strong, silent type any day. I want to be whisked off my feet, not sit around having meaningful conversations. Anyway, look where that got me. Dumped. <laughs> Don't mind if I do? <laughs> you two look like you need to top up. Oh, you're the man after my own, aren't you? <laughs> well, I think I've had enough love. Thank oh, you. nonsense! You're not having one, Edna? No, thank you. I heard you and Dad sniping each other back at the house. Well, then you obviously heard what he said. Oh, come on, Robert. He's my dad. As far as he's concerned, no one is good enough for me. Look, I love the house. I think it's perfect, and I really want to move here, so please, can we just try and make this work? Well, I am trying, Chrissy. I swear, I am trying. I know, OK. Why did you turn your phone off anyway? Because maybe I didn't want to be contacted. Oh. oh but you've got to get used to him being here. Oh, hello again. Hi. Uh, let me get you a drink. About yesterday, no hard feelings, eh? Yeah, why don't we just... Forget about that. Fine by me. I, I just want you and me to get on. Especially as it's been so tough for you, bro. Oh, sorry, I... Maybe I shouldn't have said that. I... Hey, come on, there's no need to be embarrassed. We can't all land on our feet, can we? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna offer you a job. Head groundsman. I want my brother to be my right-hand man. What do you say to that? Well, I'd say it was a bit presumptuous, considering you don't even have a job on the estate yourself. Dad? Well, I'll pay top whack. Come on, let's shake on it. I'd rather starve than work for you. Goes a pint. You see what he's like? Edna! Edna! I was hoping we could talk about this. Please, look, I didn't take this decision lightly. I have reasons for wanting to live here. You must understand. This is incredibly difficult for me. Which is why I felt I should explain. Edna, my moving here has absolutely nothing to do with you. I'm doing it for my family, for Chrissy and for Lachlan. There are some things that are more important than the past. So, please. Let's try and rub along, eh? <laughs> 